So this story starts with a bank, and that bank holds shares on trust for one Mr. Vanderbilt. Now, Mr. Vanderbilt is a philanthropist, and he wants to give money to the Royal College of Surgeons to enable it to set up a chair in pharmacology. But he hopes to do it in a particularly tax-efficient way. So he directs the bank to transfer titles of the shares to the Royal College of Surgeons. Dividends are then declared on the shares. But the Royal College of Surgeons is also required to issue an option to purchase. And that goes to Vanderbilt Trustee Company. And the court holds that this means that they must hold in their capacity as a trustee. But Vanderbilt hadn't declared any beneficiaries, so that trust failed and went back to him on a resulting trust. But that's a problem for those who think that the resulting trust arises because of an intention to create it. Because it was the last thing that Vanderbilt wanted, to get the shares back so that he would have to pay tax on them. So for swaddling, at least this sort of trust simply defies legal analysis.